everybody welcome back to my channel this is the 15th word in my word of the day series and today's word is livid livid this is a really good word for describing your emotions livid means raging or completely furious like you feel when you have lost your favorite video game and you've been working ages on it. Here is me when I feel livid. So if you are feeling livid, it means you are feeling super angry, super raging, really furious. Something has happened to really irritate you and really, really annoy you. So I want you to pause the video now and have a little discussion, have a little think. Have you ever been really, really livid about something? I don't just mean a little tiny bit annoyed. I mean completely, completely furious, raging. Sometimes in cartoons, you get pictures like this. So when a character is feeling really livid, really cross, steam comes out of their ears. Have you ever been so cross that it felt like steam might come out of your ears? There are lots of word pairs that could go along with the word livid, lots of collocations. So for example, you might have a livid face. Do your best livid face. If someone says something or does something to really annoy you and make you super cross, you might give them a livid glare. You guys are going to have two challenges today to do with our word of the day. And remember, our word of the day is livid. It's an adjective, it's a describing word, and it means raging or furious. Like how you feel when you lose your favourite video game that you've been working ages on. Just look at that character in that picture. He's so cross. He is raging. He is livid. Challenge number one is your handwriting challenge and I'm going to run a time lapse in a sec that shows you exactly what I expect from your handwriting. And for challenge number two, you will need a pen and a piece of paper or a notebook and maybe also a ruler. So you need to set your page up to look like this. I'm going to be joining in with challenge number two today. So I'm going to show you a time lapse of what I have done for challenge number two. And challenge number two, you are going to write a list. This is a bit like therapy. This is a bit like writing down all the things that irritate you and make you super cross and getting them all out 
it's like getting your emotions out. So I want you guys to write a list and it could be a short list or it could be quite a long list. It's up to you of all the things that make you super, super cross and angry and furious and annoyed. Okay, so I'm going to run the time lapse now for challenge number two and you will see what I have written and I hope to also see what you guys have written to. And as always, you are welcome to add little pictures, little illustrations to go along with your work. Thanks for joining me for the 15th video in our Word of the Day series. Mrs. Wordsmith is really proud of you, look at her. She's proud, your brain is growing, your vocabulary is growing, this is amazing, let's keep going, okay. And I hope to see you all again soon for another video in my Word of the Day series. Have a great day.